Vice, and now she's the star of a new smash hit show, Slash. Clever. I get, I get it. I get it. Welcome, please, the gorgeous Deborah Messick. Yeah. <laughs> in town so happy to see you good to see you and um we want to get to tv but i love what you're doing with post it you've partnered up with them yes. for a cause that's near and dear to your heart as a mom yes so yes. tell us about it uh post it has this great uh initiative that is um it's called your words stick with them and basically it's it's been developed to support teachers and parents and children as we go into school and it's all about just the power of words to encourage your children and to write a handwritten note as often as you can and sneak it into their lunchbox and just let them know you believe in them. Yeah, and, yep, uh, that's great. And yeah. it's true because your words really do, especially when they're young. Yours are the most important words. Yeah. And, and also with all the stories that we're hearing about bullying, how nice for children when they need that pick-me-up to yeah. open their lunchbox. I know I do it for my kids. I get up at... 3.30 in the morning, and before I leave, I write notes on the counter. I think I it does mean a lot. So, And it's all about uh, adopting a classroom. Yes, that it's it, the beneficiary of this initiative is adoptaclassroom.org. And I was so stunned to find out that a billion dollars last year was paid out of pocket by teachers yeah. to, it's, to, it's to for school supplies. Isn't it? I mean, it's horrifying. And so here's this wonderful charity that... Um, will adopt a classroom and the teachers just have to go online and say this is what i need to teach your children and they get it free i gotta get involved in before that. you adopt before the show is over yeah. please check that out that's something we need to do now do you because with roman i mean do you leave notes and, and all that all i've the been time doing it for years i mean now he's at the point where he's like okay mom <laughs> are you there i don't i there's a public, oh. there's i i leave it you know i, I call them little love notes because i put them on the mirror them in the refrigerator i hide them and uh, we have one on the refrigerator that's literally been there seven months so crazy so, but that's nice and that way you know you don't have to kiss him on the lips in front of everybody you can I leave know. a nice little note he's cute i can't uh, help yeah. it no we want to make out oh, we do. i mean it's not there we never right you're like Mom, i mean it's seriously. kind of but it's true we want to make out with our kids is that, is that, <laughs> give me the, thank you there's nothing wrong with it we also need your fix of uh, one of our favorite games. Okay. Um, thank you for agreeing to play. You're welcome. Uh, it's, it's a little scary, scary isn't it? It's a little, it's a little ditty we now like to I'm call. Now I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> little ditty we like to call. Say it with me, everybody. Two, two. two. tell three things about herself. Two of them are true. One of them's a lie. Now, we don't even know nope. what the lie is, and as well as we know her, she's apparently picked some stuff that we don't know. So, <laughs> go, and we'll see what they are. You guys, you guys will vote on what you think the lie is, okay? And then uh, we want to hear about all okay. these stories. So, in your best dr dramatic moments, okay. hit it. Here's number one. I'm from Texas, and work for years with a dialect coach to lose my thick southern draw. Oh. I'm not sure. I'll do anything for my job, including having my hair bleached 13 times in one day. Oh. I am obsessed with jewelry. I never leave the house without it. And one day I dream of creating my own line. Yeah. I can believe oh. that. Oh. I, I, that is oh. These are good. All right, so audience. Good. All right, so let's go over them here. Thick, okay. thick southern accent. <laughs> Do you, do you bleach Everybody? hair 13 times, but not just that in one day. In one I bleached day. my mother 13 uh -huh. times. Not in one day. Jewelry line, to have her own jewelry line. You guys, which one do you think it's is the lie? The lie. The lie. Yeah. Uh, the first thing I heard was hair. Here, the audience says they do not believe you bleach your hair 13 times in one day. 13 being too much, I think, in one day. Right? 13 too much. Left. I I think that the lie is the southern accent. <laughs> I think you're, you're an actress. You do accents great. Yes. You know what I mean? So, so what is it? 
The lie is I am not from Texas. movie, uh, Walk in the Clouds with Keanu Reeves, and they decided that they wanted to make me a redhead, and but they didn't want to spend any money to go to a salon, so I was in a Motel 6 in Napa Valley, and this woman came in and put bleach on my head, and, and it was half, it was darker here, then lighter, and then it switched, and 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 it switched, 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 and then it fell out. And then it all fell out. And, yeah. Yeah. Did it after the film? Oh, it was great. It was like corn yeah. stalk. We couldn't we couldn't get a, a comb through. Oh, hey, right. everybody, uh, please say goodbye to Deborah. our friends. We'll see you soon.